It's a me, funny Discord guy. I'll go over a few topics, and I'm starting with combat. It really feels like a direct upgrade of Undertale's combat to me, having a similar feel with the option to spare enemies, but also having multiple ways to do so. And having a party system really makes it feel new. But I can't bring up the combat without talking about the music. His music is iconic without a doubt. And Deltarune didn't disappoint, with bangers like Rootbuster, Field of Hopes and Dreams, and Legend, just to name a few. Heck, I even turned on some Deltarune music while writing this script. Yes, I bothered to script this all over. Honestly, my only complaint about the music is that it seemed like there would be a music indicator in each area, but it only happened with the Field of Hopes and Dreams for some reason. What really confirmed that Toby had made it when it came to composing music for me was when I found out that he did music for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which was really crazy to find out. I actually love the characters in Deltarune. Ralsei, Shom, Lancer, Rules Card, especially Shom, which is just such a cool character design. Anyway, let's talk about the story a little. I feel like the story is a little cut and dry, at least compared to Undertale. Maybe it's just because I'm older but I didn't have the urge to theorize nearly to the extent of when I played through Undertale. To quote Mr. Fox himself, If you played Undertale, I don't think I can make anything that makes you feel that way again. But in Deltarune, he sets out to make something different that you might also like. I certainly enjoyed playing through the game, and it had some Undertale moments. But looking at it like just another Undertale doesn't really do it justice in my opinion. Which kind of goes against everything I've said in this, but it really is its own thing, and it made me feel emotions that no other demo for a game had before. To finish this off, I'll do a little gamer theory. Undertale released in September 2015. Three years later, he released the Deltarune demo on Halloween 2018. And now, Toby himself is saying that he's having beta testers try out the full game of Deltarune. I'm going to make a prediction. The full game will either release or have a release date by Christmas this year. This is honestly not based on much, but it is what my gut is telling me. Also, it's just fun to try and predict things. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Wow! Night Games! He does a great work, doesn't he? If you want to check him out, I'll have his channel in the description. But for now, let's move on to my next partner and collaborator, Candy Rush Sweetest. Candy, you have the show. Hello, it's your absolutely wonderful goon here to tell you what I think about Toby's most recent released RPG. Yes, this is scripted because some of the points I just really don't want to stutter on too much. I sadly can't come up with anything on the spot, and it's it's much easier to make me stutter less by scripting out my lines, so bear with me. We all know how amazing Undertale was and still is in 2021, and will probably stay that way forever in our hearts. When I heard about Toby's release of Deltarune, I'll be completely honest. I thought it was a fan game. <laughs> Until I realized it was actually made by Toby Fox and then I just freaked out. That made me really excited. I still am really nervous and excited for chapter two. Toby Fox posted some interesting images of it on Twitter. It's not really any spoilers per se, but more so just showing off how chapter two might look and if there's going to be a giant toilet, I'm all for it. Wow, thank you, Candy. That was really well executed and not at all sounding scripted. Well, guys, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed my honest review on Delta Ruin and my friends. Again, I say, well, check them out. I'll have their channel description. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of hard work into it. It was my first time editing, it was a real pain. And, um,. Yeah, I hope you have a good day, and uh, go check out my friends in the link below. Alright, this is Rock, signing out. Hello, people. Today is going to be a very special video, because today I'm going to step my foot into reviewing. And what review should I do for my first one? Well, Deltarune, of course. Now, I'm going to give my honest review on Deltarune, and yes, I know, but you comment and say, attack me. I know it's just a demo. 
But still, I make my view on it anyways. And I have a few of my friends help along with me. Alright, let's get started. So Deltarune. One of the newest games by Toby Fox. The man, the myth, the legend. Toby Fox. Now Deltarune, for me, didn't have quite the same story. But again... It was a lot more better built and a lot more better updated. Now, now you may say, "What do you mean by that?" Like the attack cycles, the um, the RPG aspect itself seemed a lot better to me, and also just in general, it was a better game. Of course, Undertale cannot be topped. It's forever be number one and forever be in our hearts as number one. I remember playing it. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And crying to it a lot. Deltarune, though, it made me cry. The ending was really nice. I'm not going to spoil the ending if you haven't played it. But you should play it because it's nice. And, well, that's all I got to say, really. That's my view on Deltarune. Let's pass on to my friends who can probably give a much better detail than me. <sighs> This is Rock. That's my view. Last pass to my good old friend, Not Games. Not Games, show him what you got.